Hey everyone, I'm going over the configuration for the MSI BIOS and Command Center software. Getting into the MSI Click BIOS. Going into your advanced settings at the top. When you go into advanced, you should see hardware monitor. When you get into hardware monitor, it'll show you the configurations that are currently set up for your AIO and your system fans. Top three options, we have the smart fan controller for the command center software, the fan type select, and temperature source select. It's very important to set these right. So CPU fan one, which is my AIO fans, are set to enabled for the smart fan controller. Smart fan type is auto detect, and the temperature source is CPU, so that the AIO fans crank up if the CPU heats up, and it'll cool down the radiator. Pump fan one, Set to disabled for the smart fan controller so it doesn't use the curve. Fan type select is PWM mode. It automatically selected that. And the temperature source select is CPU since we are concerned about the CPU with the pump, of course. System fan one, I have it set to smart fan control enable so they don't run full RPMs all the time. Fan type, it automatically selected DC mode and the temperature source select is set to system so that it monitors the internal temperature of the system and cranks up based on the heat that is being produced inside the system itself. All of these are selected the same for the rest of the system fans. At the bottom it's showing me my current CPU temperature and the system temperature. Current RPMs for the CPU fan 1, which is again the AIO fans at 443 RPMs. The pump fan speed, which is running at full RPMs. You can set it to the curve or not, it's up, your, up to you. System fan 1, 2, 3, and 4 speeds. Currently I don't have anything in system fan 2, so there's nothing hooked up. It's going to save and exit. Save and save changes and reboot. Now when I get into the MSI app manager, I'm going into the command center. So this is assuming you have everything already installed on your MSI motherboard. Getting into the command center uh, basically goes over the same features, CPU fan one, system fan one, pump, and then it has the modes for your smart mode for the curve and the manual mode. So if I go into the pump, Currently I have it on manual mode so that it runs at the full RPMs. I really didn't like it when it was on smart mode. Um, didn't like how it performed. So just set it to manual. Uh, system fan, when I go in there it shows me the speed for all the fans. I don't have anything in fan two. So I have system fan one, three, and four hooked up. And they're all using the smart mode so it can control and not run at full RPMs all the time. Uh, the tune allows it to tune the fans and configure itself. So I would definitely do the fan tune uh, once you have these settings set in your BIOS and set in the MSI command center. Going to the advanced in the command center, if I go to sensors, it'll tell me the current temperature for each one of the temperature zones that it's monitoring. And it also shows you all the uh, connections that you have hooked up for system fan one, CPU, pump, three and four for system fan. So it gives you a good little readout in the sensor location. CPU system, etc. Temperature. Just going to close out of that, and basically you're all set to go once you run the system fan tune. Getting into the RGB setup, also will will be in the MSI App Manager, and it'll be the Mystic Light app. So when you get into the Mystic Light app, you'll be able to control your all your RGB and ARGB connections if you have everything hooked up properly it will be able to control everything and if you can see on the left hand side it just shows you the different 
options that it has for your color patterns. On the right hand side, it just shows you which individual header you can control or if you want to select all, if you want to control certain things on the right or the left, if you want certain colors. So you can configure each one individually or you could just hit select all and then choose one of the modes on the left hand side to your liking. You could increase the light speed or the brightness, how fast it lights up and how bright it is. And as you can see, once I set it, all of them, including the AIO, the lights on the motherboard, and on the system fans, and on the AIO, are lighting up in their pattern that I've selected. You can do it this way, keep it one color static, do it this way, or just turn them all off. Thanks for watching.